evening. I am Ajilpreet Kaur from. It will turn into a sphere. In this video, we will try to make you understand the concept of 2D and 3D. That is two dimensions and three dimensions. In earlier classes, we often use a piece of paper like this rectangular paper for 2D objects and a book for 3D objects. Now the question arises in my mind: Really, a piece of paper? is two dimensions get confused no problem let's try to understand 2d and 3d objects good evening my friends we know this here and you are watching my youtube channel explore the practical sorry one thing is remaining please do subscribe thank you wishing you an aesthetic evening I am Ujjal Preet Kaur from 9th class studying in Akal Academy Tibur Gurdaspur and today I am here with my model based on 2D and 3D object. So first let us talk about what really are 2D and 3D object. Those objects which have only two dimension that is length and breadth are known as 2D object. Whereas the object which have all the three dimension length, breadth and height are known as 3D object. For example, here I have drawn a square and a rectangle on a piece of paper. It have only length and breadth. Therefore, it is a 2D object. Whereas this box will act as a cuboid and a 3D object because it have length, breadth and also height. Similarly, these coins are stacked on the top of each other and it makes a 3D object which is a cylinder. And here I am having these CDs which are stacked on the top of each other and it is also a cylinder. If I take out some of the CDs, so it's again a cylinder. If I take out more and more, and at last, I'm just left with this one piece of CD. So now the question arises whether it is a cylinder or a circle. The answer is that it is still a cylinder because it has all the three dimension: length, breadth, and height. Whether the height is very negligible, but it is still present, which make it a cylinder. If I draw the cylinder, or you can say, if I trace the boundaries of the cylinder on a piece of paper, like this, so now you can see it is no more a cylinder, but now it is a circle with only two dimension, length and breadth. It does not have any height. Similarly, here if I take this. cards which are stacked on the top of each other and it makes a cuboid with a three dimension length breadth and the height if i take out some of the cards it's again a cuboid if i take out more and more and at last i am just left with this one piece of card so now again the question arises whether it is a cuboid or a rectangle the answer is it, it is a cuboid because it has all the three dimension length breadth and height now the height is very negligible but it's still present which make it a cuboid if i trace its boundary on a piece of paper like this so now it's no more a cuboid it's now a rectangle with only two dimensions which is length and breadth similar example you can try a uh, similar example you can try in our day to day life so now so this was also a method by which we can convert 3d object into 2d object so now let's try converting 2d object into 3d object here i'm having few a uh, few shapes let's suppose it is a 2d object Let's suppose it does not have any height. So for this, here we are having this piece of triangle, and it is a 2D object. When a piece of 2D object is rotated on its axis, it will turn into a 3D object. Let's try this. 
So you can clearly see that the piece of triangle is now converted into a cone. Similarly, this piece will turn into a semi-hemisphere. This piece will make a sphere. And this piece, which is a rectangle, will make a, a cylinder. So similarly, here I am having another shape, which is a 2D shape, and it is a circle. When we rotate this circle on its axis, it will turn into a sphere. So now you must have clearly seen that how a piece of circle was converted into a sphere when it was rotated on its axis. So similar example we can try in our day to day life. So through this project one can learn how can we differentiate between a 2D object and a 3D object. How can we convert a 2D object into a 3D object and how can we convert a 3D object into a 2D object. So I hope many students will learn from this model and I would also like to express my special gratitude of thanks to my teachers and my parents for their sports and for encouraging me. Thank you.